Behind me are nearly 100 players all about to fight to the death in a massive Hunger Game. All the tributes have been put into districts and will have to work together with their teammate to survive. Because if they don't, everyone has only one life. So if you die, you remain dead forever. No! With so many players all having different strategies and plans, which district will rise above the rest and be the last one alive? All of this unravels in an insane story that took me over a month to put together. So pick a district to root for and enjoy the video. I happily present to you the 100 player Hunger Games simulation. All at once, every player loaded into the game. But to allow districts to meet up, there is a five minute grace period. But as soon as that five minutes is up, chaos will ensue. Our story begins with District 14, composed of myself and Doctor. Somehow, I spawned in right next to Fluffy TSG, a fellow YouTuber and hopefully a tribute who lives long enough for me to destroy him later on. I wished Fluffy good luck and met up with Doctor, who luckily spawned in right next to me. We began planning our impeccable, flawless strategy that will lead us to victory. Where? What's our strategy, Doc? Um, we can do the time-age tradition of play lame win game. Oh, you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that entertaining to watch? I think it's funny. Fortnite, yeah. It's funny, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Now equipped with our unbeatable strategy, we began making our way over to the mountains biome so we could play lame and hide in a cave. Because soon, the grace period would fall, and we couldn't afford to be caught out in the open. But before the grace period is over and the fighting begins, I want to introduce you guys to two insanely strong districts. Fittingly, first up is District 1, composed of Eggy Cone and Crab. These two immediately dove in the water to avoid flying creatures and stay safe. I'll tell you though, their plan was likely all invested in the end game because the two creatures they're playing are extremely weak early on. They'll need to be very careful in order to survive. But if anyone can do it, it's these two. They're shockingly crafty and resourceful. I'll give you an example. Eggy Cone, the Novus Warden, looked at the pack menu to gain information on what all the other tributes were playing. However, that is but a small trick compared to the genius moves Eggy Cone pulls off later in the video. Next up is the strongest warriors in the entire Hunger Games, District 20, Reptiles and Break. These guys' plan is much simpler and maybe even more effective compared to District 1's. Okay, let's never leave the water and kill everyone we see. And that's exactly what they did. The ocean was like their home. Break and reptiles traversed across the map extremely quickly, eventually going through the swamp, sticking to the water of course, but ended up in the cold and barren tundra. Except, it wasn't barren at all. District 20 was surrounded by other districts. And with the grace period slowly ticking away, they were on high alert. But it wasn't only in the tundra. All across the map, tension was reaching a boiling point. Districts were sizing each other up and waiting for their chance to strike. The grace period slowly ticked away. This period is over. Go get him! Go get him! Jump, 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 jump this guy! Jump this guy! Here, boy. I'm gonna try and survive. No, no, I don't die. I'm no. I'm getting the Sigma Talks. I'm getting the Sigma Talks. Sigma Talks is almost dead. What HP? There we go. Oh my god. Get him. Go, go, go. Yes, yes. We did it. Yes. We did it. yes. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh I died. Damn it. All within a few minutes of the grace period ending, the amount of districts remaining had been cut in half. Even Fluffy TSG had been taken out. I'm I'm dead. <laughs> what? But what remained were goddamn warriors, all vying to be the last district alive. Including District 1 because they remained secluded in the ocean, District 20 who fought ruthlessly in the tundra, and last but certainly least, there was myself in District 14. When we found a small cave, well, I'll, I'll just show you. Alright, the playing lame part has begun. So, what do you want to talk about? Was I ashamed of this playstyle? Maybe. Though we were alive, and that is all that mattered. But many others survived the grace period, 
and they would play a crucial role in what's to come. Out of the corpses created by the fall of the Grace Period, a few more champions emerged, whose story would be closely entwined. Let me tell you about District 35, who had Death Mohawk and Mag. They were a little unorganized in the beginning. Okay, where do we go? No idea. But these two built a quick bond, and as soon as Grace Period fell, they got to work. Okay, the race is over. You wanna like aggro? Wait, I think he can see you. Yeah, he can see me and I can see, we can see each other. Oh, now let me we aggro. don't have mud anymore. Let me aggro. All right, I'll aggro, I'll aggro up here. Uh, I can distract him long enough, I can hit. Okay, I do 71 to the Vahi. They need to get down from that rock. Bit the Vahi. Sig is after you. I have to not get hit by the Sig. He's gonna cause me to... I got the Vahi. Or he's low, he's low. Got one. I think he accepted his fate. Yeah, because his teammate died. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. Okay. Mohawk and Mag had worked together well in order to kill another district without taking any losses. But during their fight, they were being watched. And the Stalker saw a perfect moment to attack a weakened district. It's a Chisudo. They stole it. <laughs> it's a Chisudo. It's okay. Oh, no! Oh, there's a... There's a... Come down to me. I can wing shred. Just run while you still can, I'm dead. No, there's no. Mag barely survived the ambush, but having witnessed their teammate being torn away right in front of them, Mag wanted vengeance. Even if it cost their life, Mag would get revenge for Mohawk. But who was this tribute who mercilessly killed Mag's teammate? Well, it's a familiar face from my Battle Royale video. Silver PNG. Alongside Wing Hussars and District 4, Silver PNG had a similar philosophy to me. When by any means, except they were unburdened by human ideals like honor, compassion, or empathy. The only thing that existed in Silver PNG's mind was the drive for victory. And Silver PNG's plan for victory was to kill any competition before they even started stood a chance. They demonstrated this by killing another tribute right before the grace period ended and proceeded to dishonorably ambush weakened Mag and Mohawk after their battle. Immediately after, they attacked another district, and they stood no chance against District 4. They were simply pure evil. But... This whole event is only kinda similar to the Hunger Games. You've got districts, only one life, but so far we've been missing out on another crucial element that makes Hunger Games authentic. Manipulation. You know how they say, may the odds be ever in your favor? Bullshit! Did you really think I would go into the Hunger Games on an even playing field without skewing the odds in my favor? Before the event even started, I hired an assassin to do my dirty work for me, to take out anyone that could pose a threat to me later on. The most ruthless, bloodthirsty killing machine from my Battle Royale video, Tang Ella. Something's above us. Something's above me. Something is above me. Find you, find you. Get in the water. Get yeah, in the water. Get in the water. I'm in. I'm in the water. I'm in the water. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Wait, how are you? Oh, that's Tangela! Oh, that's Tangela! That's Tangela! Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm dead. With any luck, my assassin Tangela will take out anything that poses a threat to me and Doctor. 
But let's back up a second. What have District 1, 14, and 20 been up to? Well, Eggy Cone and his teammate played it very safe, only ever leaving the ocean to roll in mud and do some little scouting. And any other districts they weren't 100% confident in taking out, they stayed away from. After a little while, they came across a lone Cabaratus, and here's an example of how weak Eggy Cone is early on. Literally, 8 damage. But despite doing literal single digit damage, District 1 used great teamwork and tactics to eventually finish it off. And for the foreseeable future, these two remained in the ocean so they could scale into the end game. Although District 1 didn't get up too much in the early game, it pales in comparison to District 14, me and Doctor. We managed to do even less and play as cowardly as possible. We shamefully hid in a cave for over five minutes. But hold on, the most insane thing happened. Eventually, we left our cave. Holy shit. But hey, you gotta admit, play lame win game was working. The fall of the grace period, Thanos snapped half the districts, but me and Doc were alive. We roamed around a little bit and happened upon the remains of another district. Since the meat was still fresh, we knew whoever did this was still around, so we hid in caves like the cowards we were. Our assumptions proved correct when Silver PNG and Wing Hussars from District 4 arrived. They killed another tribute right in front of my face. Me and Doc stayed hidden in our caves, but Silver PNG found me and backed me up into a corner, and I begged for my life like the lowly pond scum that I was and likely for the first time in their evil, rotten life, Silver PNG performed an act of mercy and spared our lives. <laughs> Silver PNG really should have stuck to being a bloodthirsty, psychopathic maniac, because little did they know, sparing me would be their biggest mistake. But this entire time, Mag from District 35 had been hunting down Silver PNG, waiting for a good moment to assassinate them. They saw the whole encounter between me and Silver. Mag even walked up to eat some food and was literally right on top of me. Oh, I see. I found Arby. <laughs> There's Arby. I had no clue they were even there, and when I saw this footage for the first time, I couldn't believe it. Mag could have easily snapped my neck and left my teammate Doctor to suffer alone. But now I realize why I was spared a second time. Mag had one goal and one goal only, to avenge their teammate by killing Silver PNG. I was but a mild inconvenience to Mag. Killing me would only delay Mag's vengeance longer, and that is all they wanted at any cost. But District 20, what were these valiant warriors up to? Last you saw them, they were running for their lives for my assassin, Tangella. But Tangella was not going to let them get away. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Oh, Tangella's right there! Tangella's right there! Yep, they did. Tangella had only killed one district. I expected way more out of them. Poor performance indeed. But looking at it objectively, I couldn't blame Tangella for dying. I had never expected a district as strong as this one to emerge. Reptiles and Break were bona fide badasses. Killing Tangella took barely any effort. And they repeated this fact when they were ambushed by another district half a minute after Tangella's demise. Reptiles! Reptiles! No, 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 come back. Oh, ooh, I grew. I might be able to overpower them. Oh, did we get one? Oh, yes! We got one! Oh, now they're running. Now they're scared. No. You want this fight? You want this fight, homie? You want this fight? Oh, well, the poly... No. No. I also died. That no. poly... Even though they were caught off guard, Reptiles and Break did not falter. By this point, these two had four kills, and there would be many more to come.
Back over to me and Doctor, we decided to travel outside of the snow biomes for the first time, and maybe even try hunting down some other players. But very early in our venture, we spotted another tribute in the distance. What is it? Oh, is that a... There's a Konomushi. What is that? Wait, it's a Kono. Is that Tangella? No, no way that's Tangella. It wasn't Tangella. It was Mag. What the hell were they doing out here, surrounded by corpses? To fully explain the story, I'll tell you about District 5, a special district to say the least, containing Troublesome Tanook and Somalian Roger, another YouTuber who makes documentaries. These two spent their time very heavily in the tundra and defended it vehemently. There was a district that nearly killed Break from District 20 early on, but District 5 wiped the floor with them. Munch. Plus another player that was a little too confident. I munched him. Around five minutes later, they killed another tribute. Yeah, I need food. Is it possible? Yes. We ate him. Get down here. But what happened next is a prime example of other players not being the only threat you could face. You, you oh, took. Well, why did you do that? I'm gonna die. What? What's happening? I fell in the water. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this it? I think so. Oh, Jesus. I will aggro as respect. No. <laughs> no. No, please. No, please. No! No! <laughs> I will bury you. In the water. Goodbye, my friend. That's not the water. Ah, uh, close enough. No. I'm gonna be honest, that was probably the most tragic and hilarious death in this entire Hunger Games. But Mag had made their way over and interrupted Somalian Rogers grieving. There we go. What? Uh, oh, oh, I got munched by some... I, I don't actually know what that is. It was right after this, where I had spotted Mag in the distance, but no conflict came about between us. Mag proceeded to venture deeper into the tundra, and spotted another lone tribute. Yeah, I got it! Oh, I'm so worried. Oh, Gigi's Nolu. That was scary. But hold on, this is a little confusing. This should be the same mag who was dead set on revenge against Silver PNG. But why would they stop their mission and go off to kill two other random tributes? I think I know why. I believe mag didn't think they were strong enough to take on Silver PNG. After all, it would be one versus two. If Mag was to take on District 4, the odds would be heavily stacked against them. They needed to get stronger, physically and mentally, in order to overcome the odds. Mag fighting against those two tributes was merely a test to see if they were ready and prepared to take on Silver PNG. Because if Mag didn't win those fights, they weren't ready. But as we saw, Mag did easily. After losing their teammate early on, biding their time, stalking Silver PNG, waiting to get stronger, testing themselves, Mag was finally ready. They had no clue where Silver PNG was, however. So pulling up the map revealed a pretty big gathering of people at Oasis and Pride Rocks. So Mag set off to check Oasis first. They flew in on the sidelines carefully watching for their target. There! Silver PNG. Mag approached, went invisible, and waited for District 4 to make their first move. Here was where Mag would get revenge.
Mag had done it. Single-handedly, they fought off District 4, one versus two. And although Mag didn't take out either of them, Silver PNG's teammate was taken out by another tribute due to their injuries. In the beginning, when District 35 was just starting to work together, Silver PNG had ripped away Mag's teammate. And now, Mag had done the exact same, ripping away their teammate. Mag's thirst for vengeance was finally sated. Seeing Silver PNG fly away wounded, Mag felt like a warrior. No longer would Mag pursue Silver for what they had done. Their debt was settled. In an ideal world, that would be the end of their story. But violence breeds violence. No one so far had gotten the better of Silver PNG, except Mag. While Mag had thought that their feud was settled, Silver PNG would ensure Mag's death as revenge for the death of Wing Hussars. Silver flew off, swearing to be the one to kill Mag. They left Mag to savor their pathetic victory. After all, nothing lasts. it's been a while since I updated you on the others. District 1 was still prioritizing survival above all else, so that they'd be as strong as possible. As for District 14, we, uh, uh, I'll just let Doc say it, because he totally called it. I can't wait to see this one boil down. As for me and Doc, we still did nothing. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just, we're just out here, walking in the video. Yeah, he, he nailed it on the head. But hey, we were moving around the map now. It's a different story with District 20. They were dead set on combat and eliminating any threats. There's people here, Boroner on Miju. Ooh, where's the Miju? I go. Yeah, Wait, I go. go, go. Or not, or not. I, I need the stamina. Mm -hmm. God, repels, repels fight, repels, I'm coming. I'll win, I'll win, I'll win, no worries. I more okay, okay. Be just set, be just set. After their easily won fight, they stayed here at Volcano for a few more minutes, but were interrupted by me and Doctor. So there's a poly and Turge, they're going into the water. Oh! That's Arby, that's Arby. Okay, we gotta get out, we gotta get out of here. I think they were trying to fight over here, we just drove them all off. Okay, are, are you, are you, do, you, do we wanna take the fight? Do we wanna take the fight? No, let's not take the risk. Let's leave. I'll be honest. If District 20 attacked me and Doctor there, I wouldn't know who would come out on top. We probably both would have died. Afterwards, they quickly darted across the ocean, scouting a little bit, but they found a lone poly monstrum. There's a poly on the portal. Hold on, wait for me. Only I can be the poly. Only I can be poly. Get over here. Get over here. Come here. Come here. That's a murder. Oh! I find the poly. I'm just right oh. oh, you did it! Immediately after, they spotted another lone tribute. Oh, wait, there's a Fleur Aros, whatever. Oh, I love Fleur. Oh, that's a breath. Oh! Oh, that's a breath. Oh, that's a breath. Oh. You know, I'm just gonna let you kill it. I'm just gonna watch as it dies. Hey, can you just attack it? Just attack it. Oh! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Again, it's not even close. Pretty much every single opponent so far that has gone up against District 20 has been no contest. Break and Reptiles have destroyed all other tributes in their path. But maybe there was another team that could stand a chance. District 1. Oh, there's another team. We should fight that. We should do it, Reptiles. We should kill them. Reptiles! Over here! Reptiles! Oh, Wait, let aggro, aggro. No. Aggro. I'm not gonna get time to aggro! Okay, I'm talking about you. We just 
died through their team. I am so glad we got the Vahi X done though. I'm so glad. It wasn't even close. District 20 was so damn good, neither of them got to half health. Combined, Reptiles and Break had 7 kills so far. They were nigh unstoppable. But as a product of their first real fight, Eggy Cone from District 1 was now alone. For Eggy Cone, the odds didn't look good, but it's not impossible. He recovered from the battle and began planning his strategy. But in order to beat the odds, that plan would have to be flawless. As for District 14, me and Doc were taking it easy in Flower Cove. And when I say easy, I mean it. No one interacted with us for over 10 minutes. Thankfully, Doc was here to carry us with a fun fact. Army Roblox, uh, ed educational fact one. There is a river in real life called the Pi Pi River, but it's spelled P-I-S-P-I-S. -S. So some people mispronounce it as Piss Piss River. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Pi Pi. <laughs> Pi Pi. We climbed to the very top of Flower Cove, wondering why we were so alone. But it was not because we were intimidating or that we smelled like shit. We were blissfully unaware that there was a massive battle going on between every other remaining district in Pride Rocks. It was an actual war zone. Ow. Dude. Oh my god, I cannot take these zellies. No! <gasps> I can't do this! You sit down, yeah, sit down. I'm so weak. Who is this that's attacking me? Ah, oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. I'm gone. Oh, that sucked. I died by a zelly, dude. All right, this fight's done. Let's get out of here. The battle had settled. Having claimed four more districts, all of the remaining tributes were warriors in their own right. Having undergone their own individual trials and tribulations in order to make it this far, the survivors made their way over to where me and Doctor had been, Flower Cove. Tension filled the air. Everyone was locked in a standstill, all waiting for someone else to make the first move. Me and Doc stayed away from everyone, ensuring we weren't caught off guard. Reptiles and Break did the same on top of Flower Cove, pondering on how to take out their opponents. Silver PNG stared down the other districts, patiently waiting for someone to start a fight so they could swoop in to finish both sides off. Bellasaur, another tribute with the same plan as Silver PNG, took a slightly more forward approach and went in for a few buys on District 20, but it was completely ineffective. Mag was perched invisible, watching Eggicone with caution. But Eggicone knew where they were and caught them off guard. The two engaged in a gruesome dogfight, and Mag's health quickly drained to fatal levels, and they ran for their life. But Silver PNG saw an opportunity to finish them off once and for all. Mag is dead. They lost their only companion in the very beginning. Mag had survived Silver PNG's bloodlust, and after proving themselves, they had taken on District 4, 1 vs 2, and came out on top, ultimately ripping away Silver's teammate just as Mag had experienced in the beginning. Mag's only mistake was believing their blood feud with Silver PNG was settled. Rest in peace, Mag. But Eggicone unintentionally had set off a chain reaction. The remaining five districts erupted into combat. Oh god, they're going up, they're going up. Reptiles, kill or be killed, reptiles. I'm going. I'm on the Turgeon. 
Reptiles, we gotta fight. Reptiles. Why did you do more damage to me? Oh god, I'm not looking at this. I'm not looking at this. I'm 1v2ing, oh. Doc. The surgeon fell to me. I'm killing him. No! I killed the poly. I killed the poly. I got the surgeon and the funny bird on me. I killed the surgeon. I got content! I got content! Let's go! I'm coming down. If the if the warden comes at us, we're so done. Oh, he's here. He's here. Operation Cave. Operation Cave. I got you. Oh, I think we're done for, Doc. Doc, get out of here, buddy. I can't move. Run to me. Run go. to me. No, Doc. Oh, I killed him. I killed him. Bro, we got teamed up on. You got to win. You got to look cool now. I'm going Operation Cave, Doc. I'll win for you, buddy. Everything before this point has led to this moment. The final three. Eggy Cone from District 1, Silver PNG from District 4, and myself from District 14. I was extremely vulnerable due to my slow turn rate, but my unbreakable shield was my strategy set about in the beginning play lame win game as long as i remained in this cave i had a very good chance to win as for silver png their creature was not fit for the end game they did only 100 damage so they would have to bide their time and let me and eggy cone fight it out only if they swept in when both of us were low from our fight could silver png hope to be the last one alive but for eggy cone everything had all gone according to plan when his teammate was killed by district 20 from that point on he played perfectly eggy cone could have killed me and doctor at any point but we were the only way District 20 could be defeated. Me and Doc played perfectly into his hand, doing the work for him by killing reptiles and break, thus eliminating the only real threat to Eggy Cone. Then, the rest is history. Eggy Cone had masterfully maneuvered his way into the final three. All he needed was a plan to deal with my unbeatable cowardly strategy. There was a mutual understanding between us. Like some twisted Mexican standoff, we all waited for someone else to make the first move. And... It was Eggy Cone. He dove into my cave headfirst, but I was waiting for him hitting him twice for over 4,000 damage, opening up a perfect opportunity for Silver PNG to swoop in and finish him off. The evil, dishonorable Silver PNG was dead. This left me and Eggy Cone. I presumed that I was safe in my cave, but what I thought was a perfect strategy was just something Eggy Cone could easily use to his advantage. I had been played like a goddamn fiddle. Eggy Cone had maneuvered me right where he wanted. We both sat there staring at one another for what seemed like hours, and I was left clueless on why he wasn't attacking me. But he left, and after a few moments, he returned with a chunk of food. His plan was now clear to me. He was going to watch me starve. Eggy Cone never had any intention of fighting me head on. Starvation would do the work for him. In this moment, I was filled with a foreboding sense of doom as I fully realized the caliber of my opponent. Eggy Cone was a goddamn genius. He was planning from the very beginning, flawlessly manipulating other tributes like pieces on a chessboard. I was utterly outmatched, and as time flew by, my hunger slowly drained. Eggy Cone eventually put out a silent proposal, placing a chunk of meat just a small walk away. As I was being watched by Eggy Cone on the edge of starvation, 
My entire life and the occurrences of the Hunger Game flashed before my eyes. Doc and I's initial strategy. Alright, the playing lame part has begun. Play lame win game. Mag and Silver's cruel rivalry. Strud while you still can, I'm dead. District 20's warrior philosophy. Let's never leave the water and kill everyone we see. My life being spared by Silver PNG. Tangella's sudden defeat. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we might have just killed Tangella. Everything has led up to this final moment between me and Aggie Cone. Seeing no other option, I left my only defense. Through the use of tactics, skill, and viewing other players not as enemies but resources that could be used, Eggy Cone from District 1 is the winner of the first Creatures of Scenaria Hunger Games. Congratulations. But considering there was nearly a hundred tributes that participated in this Hunger Games, there's a lot of districts and stories that I left out. So if we somehow hit 10,000 likes, I promise I'll do a part two with even crazier players. And you could participate in the next event too, if you join my Discord. So if you enjoyed, leave a like and comment who you want to return in the next video. Thanks for watching. Play lame win game.